I've been helping people cut the cable TV cord since 2016. And in today's video, I'm breaking down the pros and the cons of the major live TV services, starting with YouTube TV. If you haven't watched my YouTube TV review video, here is why I like the service, especially for new cord cutters. A well-rounded channel lineup, unlimited cloud DVR storage, no contracts or hidden fees, and a good overall user experience. Like the other premium live TV services that I'll be talking about today, YouTube TV is pretty expensive. Over 70 bucks a month, more than double its 2017 launch price. So if you're okay with that price and the channel lineup, you may be able to look past some of YouTube TV's downsides. Most notably, you cannot record or delete single episodes in a series. When you add something to your DVR, all episodes are gonna be recorded, whether they are new or reruns. A lot of users tell me this makes managing the DVR more difficult. YouTube TV has a lot of features and also opportunities for personalization, but the service has a habit of announcing product updates and then making users wait months and months to receive them. This happened with the Live Guide, Library, and MultiView. When you take all that into account, YouTube TV is still a strong contender. So keep this list of pros and cons in mind as we continue with the rest of the Live TV services. And next up, I want to talk about Hulu Plus Live TV. For a lot of people looking for an alternative to YouTube TV, Hulu Live is worth considering. And I say that for a couple reasons. The monthly price, it's about the same, and the channel lineups are also very similar. Not identical though. Hulu Live's biggest differentiator is that it includes the entire Disney bundle. So that's Hulu Basic, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. Like YouTube TV, Hulu Live includes unlimited cloud DVR storage, but with Hulu Live, you do have options to record a single episode or only new episodes when it's a series. Hulu Live does not offer a free trial anymore, so it's important that you review the channel lineup on Hulu Live's website. Make sure it's got all your must-have channels because this service, as well as YouTube TV, does not offer a lot of regional sports networks. And another thing to consider, Hulu Live's multiple streams limit. You can only stream on two devices at the same time with that base plan. However, there is an unlimited screens upgrade. You just got to pay more for that every month. Hulu Live's user experience, well, it's not great, especially the live guide. And that is one reason why a lot of people stick with YouTube TV or try Hulu Live and end up back with YouTube TV. Now, some people don't find all their must-have channels with either YouTube TV or Hulu Live. And that's where the next service comes into play. It's DirecTV Stream. This service offers four plans and all but the base plan include Bally Regional Sports Networks in the advertised price. For example, the choice plan, normally 99 bucks a month. A lot of times there is an introductory offer that discounts that price. I also hear from people who say they're missing a few entertainment networks with either YouTube TV or Hulu Live, and it turns out in many cases, DirecTV Stream has them, even in the base plan. DirecTV Stream may also be the best option for larger households and people who travel a lot. That's because of the service's very loose streaming limits. Watch on unlimited streams at home and up to three devices away from home. DirecTV Stream has a cable-like look and feel. A lot of people really like that, but its business practices, they're also very cable-like. There are no contracts or long-term commitments. That's the good news. But when I've tested this service, DirecTV Stream makes you chat or call to cancel your subscription. So it is not just a few easy clicks of the mouse. I want to talk briefly now about Fubo, another live TV service that offers those regional sports networks. Fubo added Bally Regional Sports Networks in 2023. But unlike DirecTV Stream, Fubo has a regional sports fee, and that is not included in the advertised price. So you're going to pay more than $10 a month in addition to these plan prices. The problem some people have with Fubo is that it is missing some key channels, ones that you would expect from a premium live TV service. Turner networks like TBS, TNT, and CNN not included at recording time. With the addition of that regional sports fee, I wouldn't recommend Fubo unless you are really into those regional sports networks. And if you are, you can narrow it down to Fubo and DirecTV Stream. So far, I've talked about premium live TV services that really try to replicate cable. But if you want a little less live TV, but still some, Sling TV may be a really good option to consider 
and save you money. Sling TV has two base plans instead of one, and they're priced cheaper than services like YouTube TV. For example, Sling Orange includes ESPN, and Sling Blue has the major cable news networks. People who watch only a few cable channels may be okay with just one of these plans. But for people who want more channels, you can always combine Sling Orange and Sling Blue and still pay less than YouTube TV. So why is that? Well, the main reason why Sling TV is cheaper is that it doesn't offer complete local coverage. It's got ABC, Fox, and NBC stations, but only in cities with owned and operated stations. For that reason, Sling TV is primarily best for people who don't watch locals or can pick them up with an antenna, like the Mohu Leaf that I use. So when people tell me they'd sign up for Sling TV if it had their locals, I usually recommend YouTube TV, because if Sling TV offered all the local stations, it would cost $15 or $20 a month more. Other factors to consider, Sling TV doesn't offer unlimited cloud DVR storage, and the Sling Orange plan is limited to only one stream. So there is a potential for savings, but there are some compromises to consider. The next service I want to talk about today is even cheaper than Sling TV, but Philo, it gets further away from the traditional cable TV bundle. Philo is $25 a month at recording time. This live TV service features more than 70 channels, primarily entertainment and lifestyle networks, a good service for reality TV fans. It is not for news and sports junkies or people who want locals with their live TV service. For the most part, Philo leaves those networks out of its bundle, and that's to control costs. Many Philo users see this as a pro, Others may view it as a con. Also worth noting that with Philo, you get unlimited cloud DVR storage and you can save those recordings for up to a year. The most affordable live TV service is called Friendly TV. And this one, it's kind of similar to Philo. Friendly TV offers three plans. The channel lineup is the same for all three, but the features are different. And this service starts at less than $10 a month. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but Friendly TV offers more than 40 live TV channels, including some that are left out of the base plans for services like YouTube TV. Some of my subscribers use Friendly TV as an add-on for another live TV service. But Friendly TV also has its own loyal fans, and it is worth considering if you want a lot of entertainment for a very low price, without the sports, news, and locals. I I typically recommend Friendly TV's Classic plan. That's the least expensive plan that still includes cloud DVR storage so that you can watch TV on your terms and skip through the ads. In addition to monthly plans, Friendly TV also has an annual payment option. If you want to take a closer look at the pros and cons of these services, I'll link below to an article on michaelsaves.com and you can also email me for free personal recommendations. Thanks a lot for watching.